well here we are in the Whātaroa Valley and we're very close to the Alpine Fault. It dips down beneath the mountains here at an angle of something like 40 to 60 degrees and by drilling down into it we expect to intercept it at a depth of several hundred meters. We understand quite a bit about the radiation of seismic waves from an earthquake but what we don't really understand is the physical conditions in the earth's crust at the time of the earthquake. So we have to get at the sort of information using as many different techniques as possible. Let's go and have a look at some of the gear in the sheds over here that we're going to put into the ground. Behind me is a, a winch that we use to lower these long metal tools down the borehole to make measurements of different physical properties. And these ones make measurements of the temperature and the electrical and chemical properties of the fluid in the borehole. And each one of these is stacked together into a two or three at a time. We run them into the borehole and we make very detailed measurements every few millimetres or every couple of centimetres the whole length of the borehole. Now we have a whole range of other tools in the back there and those measurements can be related to the sorts of things that the people processing core are seeing. So this piece of equipment is the acoustic televiewer and you can see that it's basically a long steel tube with a little window here. This is where the acoustic pulse comes out and bounces off the wall of the borehole. It's spinning around very rapidly, sends out a pulse of energy, records how long it takes to come back and that tells it the diameter of the borehole. So we can determine very precisely what the shape of the borehole is and also the geometry, whether it's totally vertical or whether it is tilted slightly. So that acoustic televiewer also gives us a picture of the interior of the borehole. We can see in that picture fractures, faults and natural rock foliation that we can use to interpret in terms of the actual fractures which are in the rock beneath our feet. So this piece of equipment is designed for making measurements of the rock's permeability, the degree to which the rock transmits fluids. And what it consists of is in particular these rubber what are called packers. These are inflatable rubber sleeves which once this is lowered into the borehole will inflate against the sides of the borehole. So by inflating this packer we can isolate a small section of the borehole and then pressurize it or depressurize it in order to see fluid coming into and out of the borehole. And the rate at which that fluid moves tells us about what's called permeability, the rock's ability to transmit fluids. There's lots of evidence that faults change their permeability throughout the earthquake cycle. As fluid pressures build up on the fault, the effect is to weaken the fault. So understanding the permeability structure of the rock enables us to think about how fluid pressures build up during the course of two or three hundred years and then ultimately overcome the fault's natural strength and produce an earthquake. And so putting all these different tools together, we build up a very comprehensive view of the rock. And that complements the sort of information we get by looking at rocks under, under microscopes or by analysing them very uh, carefully in core. When we're finished here, we're going to install permanent observatory equipment which will stay in the ground for years and decades to come. By studying the fault over a long period of time, we'll get yet another uh, picture of how it behaves. Ultimately, the fault will rupture. It won't necessarily happen for years or decades or even longer than that. But at some point it will be producing another big earthquake and we would like to know as much as possible about the conditions that existed at that point in time.